A helicopter main rotor or rotor system is the combination of several rotary wings or rotor blades and a control system and generates the aerodynamic lift force that supports the weight of the helicopter and the thrust that counteracts aerodynamic drag in forward flight. Each main rotor is mounted on a vertical mast over the top of the helicopter as opposed to a helicopter tail rotor which connects through a combination of drive shaft and gearbox along the tail boom. A fenestran. A fenestran is a protected tail rotor of a helicopter operating like a ducted fan. Side forces of fenestran is a force produced by the thrust and they are produced by the air channel. Example is Eurocopter. The fenestran differs from a conventional tail rotor by being integrally housed within the tail rotor of the rotor craft. And like the conventional tail rotor it replaces, functions to counteract the torque of the main rotor. Fenestrans have between 8 and 18 blades. These may have variable angular spacing so that the noise is distributed over different frequencies. It was first developed for use on an operational rotor craft by the French company. The advantages of fenestrans are due to short blades, fenestran is more stable in comparing with ordinary tail rotors. Another one is low control loads act upon the blades during any stage of the flight that is no necessity of installation of tail rotor pylon. Next one is intermediate reducer is not needed and the safety on the ground as well as while measuring at low altitude because blades are enclosed with the duct. There is a low noise and vibrations and even when tail unit is damaged, the side forces helps the plane to fly with slip and land safely. There is a abrasion resistance that is rotor is closed and there is absence of dust and stones to hit the blade low. Low cost of operation and higher service life. Enhanced anti torque control efficiency and reduction in pilot workload. On the flip hand side, disadvantages are power consumed by fenestran is higher than ordinary tail rotor and there is a high construction and purchasing cost, high drag, and an increase in power required during the hover phase of flight. Counter rotating rotors or coaxial are a pair of helicopter rotors mounted one above the other on concentric shaft with the same axis of rotation but turning in opposite directions. This configuration is a feature of helicopters produced by the Russian Kamov Helicopter Design Bureau. There are advantages and disadvantages too as the advantages are less drag, better maneuverability, higher static ceiling and can reach higher speed and the disadvantages are complicated transmission system insufficient directional stability so tail unit has larger area and the last one is inverse mutual interference of rotor intermeshing rotors intermeshing rotors on a helicopter are a set of two rotors turning in opposite directions with each rotor must mounted with a slight angle to other in a transversely symmetrical manner so that the blades intermesh without colliding. The arrangement allows the helicopter to function without a tail rotor which saves power. However, neither rotor lifts directly vertically which reduces efficiency per each rotor. This configuration is sometimes referred to as a synchropter. Most intermeshing designs have two blades per mast, although exceptions such as the Calet XR10 with three blades per mast do exist. The arrangement was developed in German by Anton Flettner for a small anti submarine warfare helicopter. The advantages and disadvantages of intermeshing rotors are similar to the counter rotating, as the advantages are. Less drag, better maneuverability, higher static ceiling can reach higher speed and the disadvantages are 
blades may touch the ground due to maneuvering and impossible to use multi rotor blades tandem rotor tandem rotor helicopters have two large horizontal rotor assemblies mounted one in front of other currently this configuration is mainly used for large cargo helicopters the boeing ch47 is the most common tandem rotor helicopter tandem rotor helicopters use counter rotating rotors with each cancelling out the other's torque therefore all of the power from the engines can be used for lift whereas a single rotor helicopter uses some of the engine power to counter the torque advantages of the tandem rotor systems are a larger center of a gravity range and good longitudinal stability and the disadvantages are a complex transmission and the need for a two large rotors tail rotor the tail rotor is smaller rotor mounted so that it rotates vertically or near vertically at the end of the tail of a traditional single rotor helicopter the tail rotor's position and distance from the center of a gravity allow it to develop thrust in the same direction as the main rotor's rotation to counter the torque effect created by the main rotor tail rotors are simpler than main rotors since they require only collective changes in pitch to vary thrust the pitch of the tail rotor blades is adjustable by the pilot via the anti torque paddles which also provide directional control by allowing the pilot to rotate the helicopter around its vertical axis transverse rotor transverse rotor rotor craft have two large horizontal rotor assemblies mounted side by side single rotor helicopters need a tail rotor to neutralize the twisting movement produced by the single large rotor transverse rotor helicopters however use counter rotating rotors with each cancelling out the other's torque counter rotating rotor blades won't collide with and destroy each other if they flex into the other rotor's pathway this configuration also have the advantages of being able to hold more weight with shorter blades since there are two sets also all of the power from the engines can be used for lift whereas a single rotor helicopter uses power to counter the torque only no tail rotor is a helicopter system which avoids the use of a tail rotor it was developed by mcdonnell douglas helicopter systems through their acquisition of hughes helicopter the system uses a fan inside the tail boom to build a high volume of low pressure air which exits through two slots and creates a boundary layer flow of air along the tail boom utilizing the coanda effect the boundary layer changes the direction of air flow around the tail boom creating thrust opposite the motion imparted to the fuselage by the torque effect of the main rotor directional yaw control is gained through the vented rotating drum at the end of the tail boom called the direct jet thruster a quadcopter are also called a quad rotor helicopter or quad rotor is a multi rotor helicopter that is lifted and propelled by four rotors quadcopters are classified as rotor craft as opposed to fixed wing aircraft because their lift is generated by a set of rotors Quadcopters generally use two pair of identical fixed pitched propellers, two clockwise and two anticlockwise. These use independent variation of the speed of each rotor to achieve control. By changing the speed of each rotor, it is possible to specifically generate a desired total thrust. To locate for the center of thrust, both laterally and longitudinally, and to create a desired total torque. or turning force applications of quadcopter in the research platform quadcopters are a useful tool for university researchers to test and evaluate new ideas in a number of different fields including flight control theory navigation real time system and robotics another one is military and law enforcement 
क्वाड कॉप्टर अनमैंड एरियल व्हीकल्स आर यूज फॉर सर्विलेंस एंड रिकनेसेंस बाय द मिलिट्री एंड लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसीज एज वेल एज रिसर्च एंड रेस्क्यू मिशन इन अर्बन एनवायरमेंट्स वन सच एग्जाम्पल इज द एरियन स्कॉट क्रिएटेड बाय कैनेडियन कंपनी एरियन लैब्स विच इज अ स्मॉल यू ए वी दैट कैन क्वाइटली होवर इन प्लेस एंड यूज अ कैमरा टू ऑब्जर्व पीपल एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑन द ग्राउंड The company claims that the quad rotor played a key role in a drug raid in Central America by providing visual surveillance of a drug traffic compound deep in the jungle. And the another application is photography. The largest use of quad copters in the USA has been in the field of aerial imagery. Quad copters UAV are suitable for this job because of their autonomous nature and the huge cost savings. Drones have also been used for light painting photography. Another one is journalism. In 2014, The Guardian reported that major media outlets first started for put serious effort into exploring the use of drones for reporting and verifying news on events that includes floods protests and wars some media outlets and newspapers are using drones to capture photography of celebrities another application is drone delivery in december 2013 the dutch post gathered international media attention with the projector parcel copter in which the company tested the shipment of medical products by drone delivering using a micro drone md4000 quad copter packages were flown from a pharmacy across the rhine river it was the first civilian package delivery via drone another application is art quad copters have also been used in various art project including but not limited to drone photography at least one drone has demonstrated the feasibility of painting graffiti on a wall with spray paint the next application is sport quad copters are used all over the world for racing and freestyle events racing and freestyle quad copters are built for speed and agility racing and freestyle drones tend to be relatively small in size with 250 mm between the propeller shaft 5 to 6 inch props being the usually upper end of the size scale 